Welcome everybody to our webinar. Hi. This is my beautiful husband, well handsome husband. <laughs> my beautiful wife. Rex Same Miller, husband. medical herbalist, naturopath, iridologist since, uh, well he's been a naturopath since 1983 which is fair time to be in that field but his specialty is herbs. So he's very, very good at understanding herbal medicine and also understanding the physiology that we call skin, which is great. So what we wanted to do today, we wanted to share with our business partners how to go about opening the subject and also how to close people when we get to talk to them about our fabulous range. So I want you to not think of yourself as a salesperson. It's always good by, if you, if you can think of yourself as being a solution provider, this business, while it is your business, you don't want to make what you're saying just about you. It's really about intriguing people by talking to them about what could be in it for them. Yeah, so one, one of the uh, obvious facts about the new Serity range and the new Serity marketing plan as a product is that it is life changing. Yeah. So the benefits derived from using the products is cast in stone. And so is the way that we can actually get it out there and share it with other people. So this opportunity can be life changing. So if you pitch to each individual circumstances, do they want it for their skin? Do they need to save some money for a holiday that they haven't been able to take? Or, you know, is there some issue that's really painful to them? How could Nucerity fit their needs? And we do this through intriguing. There is a document, How to Invite. This is on the Nucerity University in getting started in Level 3, but also on our Newcom app, which is fantastic. Yeah, I just love that, that app. You know, you've got it there with your phone or on your iPad. It's there. You don't have to uh, go through all the processes of going through into the back office or the university. And this is directly from that. So what you see there in the uh, purple writing, and I'll just read this out to you. Most people want what you have to offer. They just don't know it. So appreciate that and have that positive outlook that even if they say no at the outset, don't write them off. Yeah, one of the most, it just means no, not now. Yeah, one of the most crucial steps in getting them to understand how our products and opportunity can enhance their lives is by intriguing them and properly making the invitation. Do this well and it directly leads to the growth of your business. Yeah, so here's the take-home point and this is what you should write down. When you're first talking to someone about either the products or the business opportunity, don't tell them everything that you know. Your goal is really just to connect them with a third party who will be able to answer questions that they might have in their mind or really amaze them with some before and after samples or so on. So your job is to simply invite them. Invite them to live meetings such as, um, well, meet them for coffee or a business opportunity meeting. You can do this online or if there are meetings in your local area, make sure you attend and take your guests. Inviting them to listen to somebody on a third party call is a fabulous way of helping people understand the business. Social gatherings, anything that would be appealing to them is what you should just invite them to. Obviously, if you tell them everything you know, they have no reason to attend anything with you. Yeah, so in the app under tools and documents, this is basically encouraging us to use the tools that New Serity have provided. So watch a video. This is a great way of actually, you know, there's nothing like the visual impact that can get us get drawn into the whole process of, of learning about the business. Maybe a recorded call. Let them know the address that you have as your business address that they can go and have a look in themselves in the privacy of their own home and they're not feeling like they're being bombarded all at once. So how do we invite? First of all, ask questions about them personally. Find out what's going on in their life. 
to understand how our products and business opportunity fits them personally. So you might you might be connecting with someone that you knew at school. So you could ask them questions like, oh, you know, what are you doing these days? Have you, do you have a relationship? Have you had any kids? What sort of work are you doing now? Are you still an air hostess? Etc. And keep asking, tell me more, tell me more. It's all about them. You're establishing or re-establishing a personal relationship with that person. Eventually, they're going to say, well, tell me what you're doing these days. And keep that super brief and ultimately intriguing. So you might say something like, well, I help people get more beautiful while they get extra money in their bank. I mean, that's fairly intriguing. I would definitely want to know more if someone said that to me. But you've got to intrigue them so that they want to know more. Yeah, so you can connect in a way that's appropriate or comfortable for them, like texting, email. Just keep that in mind, though, that that's not as personal as making a call. The beauty of our phones these days is that we can make a video call and we can see the person's face, they can see ours. And the use of three-way calls. I remember way back when we first started off, the approach was to share with them the information about the company, its founders, the basic information on the product range, and then basic information on the marketing plan. And then we would ask them, what of those three really interests you? And when you ask that question, zip it. Got to listen. But one thing is for sure, um, Lonnie McKinney says, Lots of people get texts and emails that they don't even read because mm. a lot of people are kind of overwhelmed by how much of this sort of communication they get. And he says, if you really want to be successful, go that step further, make the call personal. Sorry about that, Chief. Oh, okay, 99. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so one of the uh, initial ways that we can encourage folks is to have something that's close to home. Now we call this the home launch and we invite individuals to have it in their own domain so that they're feeling comfortable, that they are you know, basically to some degree in control. And of course, this sort of opens up the way for um, their friends and family to be able to be in a relaxed environment and a relaxed state as well. So the object of a home launch is not to show people how much you know about everything. We don't really want to tell them a lot. Really, we need to follow the system that New Serity have developed for us and have someone else do the presenting for you in the early stages when you're still getting to know the plan, the, the actual individual products. We want to just... Invite people to a relaxed environment and have someone else do the presenting for you initially. Yeah, so you know, the good thing about this is that you then don't know, have to know everything about the marketing plan or the products. The term mentoring here means that you rely upon your upline and your main role in, as a host to the home launch, being the host to a number of guests, is to edify or to support the uh, person that is there to help you start and build your business. Yeah. So we always recommend that what you can do and do it really well is to share your story. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't got a story yet, get to know some of the other people's stories and be the one that excites you is the one that you should relate until you have a story of your own. But once you have a story, share that as the opening to a, an in-home meeting and do it in like maybe one or two minutes. So for me, I share my story that I had acne rosacea and that I had a 90% improvement in just one month. And actually, you've got a great story, Rex, yeah. from this morning that would be great if you were talking to a barber, for example. Yeah, Would exactly. you want to share that? Uh, you might have noticed, uh, for those that have been with the company for a bit, there was a promotion with regard to how to care for your if you had a beard, using the body silk. Well, for us who are clean shaven, we can also use the body silk. And I tried it this morning. I've been thinking about how can I stop that, you know, that metal on skin post-shaving effect. And normally we would sort of splash on some aftershave or whatever. But this morning, after exfoliating with the um, exfoliator, 
I washed, dried my skin, and then this is before shaving. And then I got a small amount of the body silk, rubbed it in, and really massaged it into my whiskers. And then once I felt it sort of moving into the skin, I then got my shaving cream. You've got to use quite a soft one. You just smear over where you're going to shave and then go about shaving. Now, what I found is that the whole process of shaving was far more comfortable, far more effective. And I know that probably a lot kinder to the razor as well. And it feels really smooth. Mm, Tony loves a clean <laughs> I like a close shave. Yeah. And then after you've done that, wash your face. And I just absolutely love the rejuvenating barrier. So uh, previously, I just used the rejuvenating barrier, but I thought the body silk being, you know, the essential oil base smells great too. It does. It certainly made the whole process a lot more bearable and enjoyable. So there you go. That's a, that's a new story that I can share with the clean shave. And, and I guess if you shave wherever you shave, whoever you are, just try it. See what you think. Let me know. Great idea. So no one is looking for another job. You know, like they didn't come to your meeting thinking that they're going to join a company, but they do want to join people. So when your story is believable, when it's told with passion and excitement, where they, when they hear something that really applies to them and then they have fun while they're there, this is an opportunity where people will want to join you. So. Don't be the message. I think Rex has touched on it and I already touched on it. You don't want to tell them much. Your, your job is really just intrigue and rely on others to do the speaking for you. You know that the less you say, the more they listen. And I've found myself that if you're talking to someone who knows you, they don't listen to you the way they would listen to someone you said was your expert. So just create the intrigue and ask them would they be open to either a third party call or coming to a home launch. This is We want to have an upbeat presentation. We want to have people there who will hear the message from someone else. And there's a rule of thumb, if you need to invite really twice as many people as you like to have in your in your room and then call a couple of days beforehand to make sure that everything's okay even offer to pick them up or even if you just have a coffee date or uh, you make you book an appointment uh, through an email just make sure that you follow that up so that the actual appointment is fulfilled so for goodness sake don't you renege or forget make sure you put it in your calendar so that you get one and two alerts that you have that appointment on that night or coffee date at that particular time of the day. It's very important for you to show that you are reliable and uh, be on time, be there beforehand. Yeah, and, and that person is the most important person while you're with them because this could be a future customer or a future business partner. And let them know, leave your wallet at home because the message is not about, I don't want to sell you something. I just want you to hear what I've heard to see if this is a good fit for you or not. So the company has even given us some great script samples. So remember to be polite and ask them first, then connect, engage, and then invite. So, For example, I want to share something with you that I'm passionate about. Can we get together for a coffee? Uh, what's better for you today, tomorrow, you yeah. name it? Or I'm involved in something really special that's totally changing the way I look and feel or my financial outlook. I'm getting on the phone with one of my business partners this is in about 10 minutes. Are you free for just a couple of minutes? I mean, do you think you could do that? I just love that term, share frontation. You know, it says everything about using the product, sharing your experience of the product, sharing your experience with the company, and just don't hold back. It's just a two-way thing involving this uh, wonderful opportunity and wonderful experience that we uh, call New Serity. So there's a couple more script samples here. I want to share something with you that I'm passionate about. We have to talk. I'm getting on the phone with one of my friends who I'm working with in about 10 minutes. 
are you free for a few minutes? So again, I'm just reiterating really the script we just used. Yeah, so notice how compact, how precise that, that invitation is. And again, also notice that you're actually referring back to one of your upline that can basically speak as in a third party. There's an old proverb which says a prophet is unhonoured in his own territory. So if it's a friend or a family, they might think, oh, what are they into now? But when you put somebody else on, maybe one of the makeup artists or the other professionals or just a Sally housewife who is absolutely rocking it with new serity, then you can have them come and share uh, as the expert their experience. But the main thing is that during that call, you keep it brief. If they start saying, well, what is it? You know, and then you start going into, you know, all the detail and that phone call ends up being 10 minutes, 15, 20 minutes long, then it's going to overwhelm. So the script there could be, well, I'd rather not go into that in too much detail because I can't explain it like ever can, but I'd love you to hear it like I did. So it would be fantastic if you could talk to her and also join us at our next event. Yeah. And uh, one of the other things is too, and I've learnt this the hard way, I don't tell people the name of my products or company on that initial intrigue. And the reason for that is if you go online and Google, good old Dr Google can pull up some haters who are going to say it not the way that you heard it and not the way that would intrigue and excite your prospects. So just intrigue them by saying, you know, I've got something really great. I'm not sure if it's a good fit for you, but I would absolutely love you to have a look at it. And if, if it doesn't feel like a good fit for you, maybe you can recommend somebody else that I could talk to. And I'm, I've really got to fly, but can we meet tomorrow for coffee? So a cold market question. Do you use skincare? What kind do you use? How often do you use them? And this is a great question. Does that company pay you any money to use their products? <laughs> <laughs> and this can be somebody who you don't know. I mean, this could be somebody standing in the line at the supermarket. It could be somebody standing in the line at the bank. It could be someone who's doing a cold market call on the phone to you, trying to sell you something. There's an opportunity here for you. Have you ever felt like you've seen somebody with a skin condition, you just want to tell them, even though you might not even know that person? So do you carry your card with a little sample? Do you have the courage to be able to sort of uh, cold market that needy person? And if you've got some samples in your bag attached to your business card, wow, what an opportunity. There's one of our diamond leaders in Nesserity. Her name is Mary Bullard. Wow, a little pocket rocket she is. And she uses the ABC system, which is an acronym for always be closing. And anyone can learn this skill. So when a person you're speaking to says to you, I just want to try the product, zip it. Your work is done. So she would say, okay, there are two ways you can get it. You can be a customer on a rewards program or do you want to be a distributor and get it at wholesale? So basically, you could also say, do you want a 40% or a 50% discount? Which products do you want to try first? So that only takes about five minutes to go through that process. Do you have that time now? Would you like to fill in a few details so I can get that organised for you? You know, it's such a short process when you cut to the chase. This is awesome. And always have a couple of distributor forms with you for these opportunities. So even if you're not online, you can actually get them to fill out their details and enter them into the system. So some closing questions. You know, you've shown them the products, they love them. Where do we go next? You can simply say, there are three reasons why people join Nucerity. First is to get the product at the best possible price. We're all interested in that, aren't we? Yep. Second, people want to be part of the wonderful Pay It Forward community. And they just want to make money because they've got no plan B. They well, want to retire with dignity or they want a few extra dollars for a holiday. And the big question, which group do you fall into? So you've actually outlined there's three reasons why people join. Which is their reason? So you haven't said, do you want to join? You've actually asked them, why would you want to join? And then notice in red, zip it. 
and listen. <laughs> <laughs> he who speaks first loses. Don't you be talking when you've asked the question. One of our diamonds here in Australia, Martine Wallace, she said, it can be painful. You ask them, what did you love most? You must not speak first. It makes them go in their head and they actually want to pick one of the reasons why they want to join. So. Do you get stuck for something to say? So, well, was there anything else you'd like to know before we get started? And just remember. You want to say nothing. You want to, again, zip it and listen. And their honesty will come up. They obviously have one more question to ask you and allow that to happen. Are you confused by too many choices? Mm, which way do we go? <laughs> so choosing the right pack. Now, if you use the right words when explaining the packs, you'll find that instead of people joining with a two-bottle order, they will select the pack that's right for them. But it's actually a benefit for you to use a, a phrase like, based on what you've told me, this is the pack I would choose and this is the reason why. So let's just have a look at the individual packs. So the product pack, that's the full set of the skincare products and Elite and 50 samples. So you could say, if you want to get the best results, you really need to use all the products together. And if you don't mind paying for them, this is the best way to try all of our products. Or you might want to use the Builder Pack, which has got two of everything, so a set to use and a set to share with 100 samples. So you simply say, this pack gives you two full sets. Yeah, and so you've got the opportunity to try one yourself or maybe have the other to share with someone else. Or we can go with the Founder Pack, and if you want to make money fast, this is the fastest way to do it. So you've got three of everything plus three bonus skin serity and 200 samples. Now, this is a serious pack for serious builders. Yeah. So 27 products makes this the cheapest per bottle unit you will ever be able to buy. And it includes three months activation. You could also say, let me show you the two by two and how you can get your money back in 28 days. So this is actually taking out that, oh, I don't know which pack I should get. You're telling them what's in it for them. Again, what's yeah. in it for them? What do they get back if they choose the pack you recommend? And some people might be in the mindset that, oh, oh I've got product. Uh, I've got product to sell. And the, the whole basis of this company is based on sharing the product, getting the product into the community. So this is the best and cheapest way to actually get the product. And, of course, you've got enough there to actually get that uh, little retail activity happening. So we are looking for product users. And we're also looking for people with a burning desire for change. Whether it's for your skin, whether it's for a fabulous community, or whether it's for an unbelievable system of residual income. And I'd just like to discuss the photo there of a few of us all happy and upbeat about being part of New Serity. And you might think, hmm, this is mainly a business opportunity, a product range for women. Well, I guess there's a couple of guys out of a dozen or so of the girls. You know, I have no problems with actually presenting this product range to males and particularly with the inclusion now of the elite as a medical herbalist of 35 years, I am so excited about how that product complements what we're doing on the outside. We already know that the skincare products are second to none in the world. And now with the elite, this is something that us males can be very excited about because, you know, this basically helps us to get through our day. Fantastic for recovery for that hardworking man who's out there, you know, the tradie, uh, even people who go to the gym. This is a fantastic product to actually help with recovery and uh, puts an emphasis on that uh, men can embrace and become part, an active part, either in supporting their partner, their wife or their business partner, or 
taking the lead, but basically getting their business up and running personally. And you know what? I never met a man who didn't have skin. 